Alright everybody, now I'm back once again for my comparison of three different versions of A Bug's Life. And this is also going to be a video response to my original comparison of two different versions of A Bug's Life. What For the free versions you see here, on the left is the original 1999 VHS, which this one has Heimlich on the cover. Yeah, it's good. In the middle is the 2000 Gold Classic Collection VHS, which I got at Used Book Superstore in Salem, New Hampshire. And on the right is the 2000 Free Collector's Edition DVD, which I got at Target in Haverhill back in July of 2009. So, let's get started with the tapes. First up, we have the original 1999 VHS, Sub of Bugs Life. I've had this for a long time, since, since around that time. And see, as I said, mine has Heimlich on the cover, and there's lots of others who have this tape, but they may not all have Heimlich. Some covers have Hopper, Flick, Francis, and Dot on there. I, I know the Francis cover is what Home of the Good Guys has. I can't remember what cover. I know the Chris 8488 also has this VHS as well, but I can't remember what insect is on his cover. But anyways, show you the spine. And the back, and it says, features two sets of hilarious outtakes as... As seen in theaters. As it says, delight everyone, young, old, or six-legged by People Magazine. And yup, THX, it's on the back, though. It, as I said, it doesn't creep me, Aubrey, Nick, James, nor Chris out. And I think it doesn't creep Colin out either. I think he might have this tape, but not too sure. Also has the bonus short, Jerry's Game, Academy Award winning short from Pixar, and exclusive sneak peek of Disney's Tarzan. Also has previews for the Masterpiece Collection VHS releases of Alice in Wonderland and Robin Hood, because those would get re-released in the collection in 1999 with different cover art. But anyways, I'm going to open this up now. Here's the tape with the ink label. Print date is March 4th, 1999. So this tape is going to be turning, turning, turning 12 years old tomorrow. Oh, since today is March 3rd, 2011, just so you know, so, so this is a big date, and, but hey, and I know this tape of A Bug's Life is very good, so if you like this, like that tape, go, go ahead and buy it if you don't have it as of yet. And next up, we have the 2000 Gold Classic Collection VHS as of A Bug's Life, which I got at the used book Superstore in Salem this past Tuesday. As you see, here's the spine and the back, and it has the same critic review as stated in the description and, and features those two same two things. Things, and of course, I know Grouch Man 1000 also has this VHS, and a few other people do too, including the Chris 8488 and so on and so on. I don't know what previews are on this tape as of yet, but I hope to watch this tape soon. See? Tape with the blue lid has an ink label, though I th actually it's more likely a sticker label. And you can't see the print date because it's a former Blockbuster video rental, as you were... Rental, but... But, so... But, so, but yeah, this VHS of A Bug's Life, still pretty good. You should check that out, too. I, rec I recommend it. And finally, we have the 2000 free e-collector's edition DVD of, of A Bug's Life, which I got at Target in Haverhill back in July of 09. Nine, I know a bunch of other YouTubers have this. And yep, once again, THX. I know the Chris8488 also has this DVD, but his cover isn't shiny. Hey, it's just a plain one, and I had seen another DVD copy of, of this. We have a slipcover over at Bull Moose Music in Salem, New Hampshire this past Tuesday, but I think the disc was missing on that. But if I end up seeing that cover, that slipcover, and find both discs, well then, I could definitely be be buying that, and then could give this one away to Chris to the Chris 8488 so that he can have the shiny cover. But anyways, as you see, here's the spine. In the back, and it says, The world's first DVD created directly from the digital source. Same critic review there. Has all these features, including a Bugs Land activity game, which has Heimlich hosting that. And anyways, and so on, as once above others. Gonna open this up. See? Here's the DVD guide with 36 chapter selections and all. Here's this one, which has the movie, and it has Dot, Heimlich, Francis, Princess Ada, and Flick. And here's this too with the bonus features, and it has Hopper as well as the other evil grasshoppers. But, still, this DVD of A Bug's Life is still very good. 
good, and this this DVD replaced the Gold Classic Collection DVD back around that time, and this is the DVD that still remains generally available today. I also saw a copy of the Gold Classic Collection DVD over at Boom Moose Music 2, but that too was missing a disc. So, but, I'm going to be fine with the Collector's Edition, because that has more features. So, yeah. But anyways, but anyways, there you go. That wraps it up. Up for my comparison of three different versions of A Bug's Life. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video. My next video will be a comparison of two different versions of The Emperor's New Grooves. But until then, see you next time. Bye!